I am eating in earnest. I am alive and I am eating in earnest. I am alive and I work hard and I am always hungry. I open my mouth for spoonfuls of gumbo, heavily spiced and bubbling with love, made by friends, made for friends, in eating together, in feeding each other, we are agreeing to live. Oil drips from my chin and I grin because I am alive. I am not sickened. I scoop a piece of yellow squash, softened and earth-given and sweet, give it to my belly on a chunk of bread. I eat. The bite in me nibbles the life in me, but bread, that most threatening of morsels. I couldn't swallow it before for fear of swallowing a sponge. I couldn't fit it in. It might have soaked up the adrenaline, the heart stamp, panic, cardiac hunger that propelled me from A to B. I couldn't swallow. My throat Restricted in horror, I bared my teeth at life, blew clouds of smoke over sandwiches and laughed cruelly when asked if I was hungry. Hungry, not hungry, no. Scared. Scared that the guilt would consume me, scared the eating was an admission of it, I scraped my brittle bones and bruised as easily as a pushed button and I made d nests in the dens of men who had buttons to press on the sleeves like hearts. I tried to be quiet, but the sound of me chewing annoyed them. And a plate of food did not look like a love letter from this life whispering, we want you alive. It grimaced like a contract that I was obliged to sign, but they want us hungry. They want us soporific and sedated and staring at ourselves. There are battles raging outside the shut window that we will not notice if the mirror and our silhouette has unveiled us in its sleepy net. And it is not political, agreeing to eat. It is just signing up to be ready for adventure or hardship and be fueled for the fight or the joy of it. So... I grew some extra flesh, a byproduct of saying yes to life. Some soft side tissue that friends can grip gently when we wobble arm in arm across drunken campsite, 6 a.m. sun up, squeezing homewards. Bloomed a warm belly that a boy can push his palm against, snuck under t-shirt in search of campfire warmth. And it is nice to hear the word womanly. Nice to greet friends with happy grins and great squashing hugs and not to hear them wince against the dig of my surfaced ribs. But the point is, more fat is not womanly. More thin is not womanly. Being a woman is womanly. Yeah. If you could eat tiramisu every day for a month, and still struggle to fill a size eight, then you are a woman. If your thighs are thick and spread where you sit, if your breasts roll and spill like a happy tide when you laugh, then you are a woman. We do not need to wilt and bloom according to fashion to call ourselves women. I am not eating to fill out or to shrink. I am not eating for you. I think I am eating in gratitude of this healthy body. Each mouthful hat tips to the loved ones we miss who did not make it this far with us. It is a promise not to waste this life. Each swallow lifts my chin so I can look out into a world full of things to see and work to do that is too important to miss because I was busy kissing hunger. I am hungry. I am always hungry now. <laughs> Let's eat. Let's eat gratefully and well. Let's eat. Bon appetit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.